Hey there. Austin John plays here. Let's talk about Pokemon Unite. Today, Pokemon had a separate Pokemon Presents that was 11 minutes long following last week's Pokemon Presents that they talked about Pokemon Smile, Pokemon Cafe, the DLC being released right then and there, and then also teased us about this week's. I did not upload a reaction today. One, because I didn't want to, because I felt as though they hyped up for an entire week for an 11 minute ad at a mobile game that was it's a MOBA game, and it's free to start, so there's microtransactions. And two, because my, uh, my PC isn't doing too good. So I'm on my backup PC. That's essentially just for VR. And then I swapped out my Elgato cards and stuff. So that's all that's a mess right now. But I wanted to get this video out here and talk to you. At this point in time, the official Pokemon YouTube channel's presentation, the presents of Get Ready to Tune In for Pokemon Presents, is currently at 94,000 dislikes and 52,000 likes. Doing a quick search of the subject, the GameSpot reupload is at 28% at 6.4 thousand views. The IGN full gameplay presentation is also at 36%. And A Drive's reaction is at 75%. The official trailer on the Pokemon channel is at 25%. All of it is just very negative. But let me talk to you why. I'll be honest, it looks dope. I'm going to play that. It's free to start. I'm probably going to play it a little bit. If I really love it, I might dump 10, 15, 20 bucks in microtransactions if that gets me a Charizard or a Mega Charizard or something cool like that. I don't know. They got their gimmicks, right? And if I don't like the game, I'm not going to give it any money. Simple as that. The problem with Pokemon Presents is you did... The DLC. And then also Smile. You started off with Smile, you know it's your weak point, and then Cafe, which looks neat, it's a puzzle game. I really enjoy the uh, Pokemon Shuffle. I love Pokemon Shuffle. That's my favorite game to play on the toilet, hands down. For a while it was Magikarp Jump, and, which I forgot, there was the brand new surprise drop saying that they're working on the new Pokemon Snap. Hitting the nostalgia bone that we've that we've been wanting a new Pokemon Snap for years. And they said it's not coming, they said it's not happening, and boom, there it is. And people were just so overjoyed by that. They did the whole presentation, then included the DLC launch of Sword and Shield, right? And then they said, next week we have something for you. And people are like, whoa, this must be huge. It must be huge that it's not even in this presents, which also we've never had a Pokemon presents before. They're also they're all directs or they're they're like just trailers that drop. Right. And then there were rumors, rumors, no truth behind them about Let's Go Johto, Diamond and Pearl Remix, which has been memed forever. The problem is that they had that entire week of build up and me as a Pokemon content creator, I was clueless as to what was going to be here. So I knew it was nothing I was expecting, right? If it was going to be Let's Go Johto, there'd be some more truth to the rumors. Notice how I didn't cover anything because there was nothing concrete. There was nothing solid. And then they come at us with an 11-minute ad talking about this mobile game. It's, it's actually a really big deal for Pokemon, a Japanese company, to break into chi uh, mainland China, which doesn't have a lot of Pokemon games. Like, think back to the IQ player, which was an alternative to, I think it was the N64, just for China, because China's huge, and they have weird restrictions on stuff. But for them to be allowed to play this mobile game with Pokemon in there, it's kind of a big deal to them. And you know what? That's cool. If this was just a trailer that dropped... Out of nowhere, no one would care if they didn't tease about it in last week's Nintendo Presents, then no one would bat an eye. If they had a large Pokemon Direct, if they combined this Presents and the last Presents, made a 22 minute video, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know, it would have gone over great, you know? The problem was the lead up, the expectation, and the lack of delivery. It's like when the opening DJ is better than the main act. It's like when ACDC opens and then Macklemore comes on. What? <laughs> you know, it's, it's not who you're expecting and it's not the target demographic. 
And it's not an immediate thing because it would be ACDC playing. You got, you know, Thunderstruck happening and then immediately Macklemore. Instead, there was a week of us just waiting for it. Granted, we're playing the DLC and being totally distracted, but that week of anticipation is what makes people upset. So what I'm saying now is, first of all, just re-uploading the trailer, that scummy IGN and GameSpot shouldn't do that. It's, it's a BS move. It really is. But like, don't hate Dan for it. People who are making reactions, don't, you know, give them trouble about it. Instead, the best thing you could do to show how much you dislike Pokemon Unite would be to not download it. The second best thing you could do to show that you don't like Pokemon Unite is don't buy the microtransactions. And the best thing you could do to show that you dislike the delivery, but you appreciate the concept and the game is to dislike the video and download the game. And then microtransactions are optional. Honestly, it looks a lot of fun. Me, I could totally picture me, Philly B2, Zoe Two Dots, Reversal, and Mystic all playing together. It seems like a lot of fun. We, we would totally do, we're probably gonna do that. Especially if the Switch release day is gonna be the same day as the mobile. Actually, I didn't even look at what the release day was. We look forward to sharing more details in the future about when we plan to launch the game. And it's not even like they say, hey, it's available now. You know what I mean? If, it, if they said, hey, it's available now to go download it, yeah, it wouldn't be seen that bad. Actually, was Ishihara playing on the Switch and the other people were playing on mobile? Yeah, it looks like it. So either he synced his Switch controllers to his phone or there's going to be uh, cross-platform at launch and looks pretty cool if you ask me. All I'm saying is if you think it looks good, I don't want you to feel bad about that. You know what I mean? There's there, This is some of the biggest blowback we've seen immediately since they said not all Pokemon are going to be in Sword and Shield E3 of last year. This is the biggest incident since then. If you want to play it, don't feel bad. That's all I'm saying. Well, guys, I hope I was able to bring some insight to what's going on. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And until next time, once I get my computer fixed, Austin John out.